So let's now show a subjectivity of phi. In other words, I want to get, I want to show that I get every right coset as the image of phi. So, so what do I do? Well, I take an arbitrary right coset and show that there is some left coset that maps to it. So suppose HG uh, is in SR. It's just some, some right coset. Um, okay, then if I just look at uh, G inverse H, then this is a left coset. Oh, but inside S, S uh, 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 these guys here, so it lies inside SL, so these guys here are uh, all the distinct cosets. So that means this one must be equal to one of the GIHs. Hence, G inverse H must be equal to GIH for some I and I. All right, and I'm going to play the, the game with the letters again. So I'm going to call this now A and this B. Right, that's this setup here, and um, I want to use again the H inverse B. So, so A inverse B. So the inverse of A, which is G, G I, is an H. Right. So G is again the inverse of A, and G I is B. Okay, so we get that this thing is an H. Um, so I also want to call this C and this D inverse. So I want to use this uh, property here. Hence, well, according to this property, C, so... Um, According to this property, HC, so H, C is G, is equal to HD. So it's H, okay, so D inverse is GI, so D is going to be GI inverse. Right, this is again C, and this now is, is D. Um, okay, but what is HGI inverse? Well, that is nothing else but phi of GIH. So what have we shown? We have shown that the right coset HG is equal to the image of uh, the coset, left coset GI under phi. So phi is subjective. So um, this finishes the proof.